What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to Light Inside Cinema. I hope you guys had an incredible week last week. This week, we're going to be diving into some ways to speed up your color grading workflow. More specifically, talking about remote grades and showing the difference between remote and local grades. Let's cut the jibber jabber. Cut. <laughs> Get it cut? Edit? Okay, never mind. Let's go straight into DaVinci Resolve. All right, we are in DaVinci Resolve right now, and this is the Resolve 19, and we are working on an interview right now. What is remote grading and what is local grading? Our local grading is for individual adjustments, you know, that you make between color correction, color grading on a specific clip like this. So it's like, I make this blue. Well, this is the same clip, but it's not copying over. Now, certainly you can come in here and right click and go apply grade. And you could do that throughout all 20 clips that I have on this timeline, or we can reset it all and go into what we call remote grading. Now remote grading, you can right click and say use remote grades. Now what this does is you'll see a little pink clip right here, right? Now when I'm on that same clip that same source file it will show exactly that now if i get off of it it's not highlighted anymore right remote grading is for the global adjustments across all the color corrections and grading that you've done on that specific clip and when i say global i meaning like it literally will copy it over to a different timeline so now that i'm working on a remote grade i could come in here and let's just Let's just warm it up a little. And then maybe bring the uh, lip down just a little hair. There we go. Something like that. Maybe it will bring in some contrast. There we go. I know it's not perfect. Okay, so now I have this color graded. Let's just say that you want this grade on a different timeline and I already duplicated the timeline. So we have this clip on a different timeline now. Now, Let's just say we want it on here. All we have to do is right click and we say use remote grades. Now look what happened. It copied the grade that I have on this clip over to that. Why? Because remote grading is global and local is for single. Now let's just say that you're working and you found one clip that you really feel like it's a flashback scene or that you really want to emphasize a different moment and you don't want this to be affecting from the remote grade, that's fine. You can right click on this and go, okay, I want this in a local version. You can press load. Look what happens. It takes it away from the remote grade. And you could tell by this little pink highlight right here, it takes it away, right? Now we can go in here and let's just say this is black and white. We can come in. That's a very contrasty image. Now, what happens is, is that this clip is on a local grade and this is on a remote grade, okay? And it would not affect the other timeline because it's on the remote grade right here. In essence, remote grading is, it links all the color corrections and color grading of this, sp this specific clip right here across the entire timeline and other timelines. And when you make any color adjustments to one, like the color correction or the color grading, that same color grade is applied to every other clip, you know, that's within that same source. This is primarily ideal for projects that require visual consistency. Local grading is more ideal for scenarios where you need more creative control over the individual clip. And, you know, of course, it comes down to global adjustment or individual adjustment. I personally love remote grading because of that. Let's just say like, oh, I need to go back into remote grade. Well, you can easily just come in here and go, I'm on remote version, load. Now, Everything is back and we can go in here and go load. Now I'm on black and white. Now, if you right click on this, you're going to see copy remote grades to local, copy local grades to remote. 
These options in here, they allow you to transfer the color adjustments between the remote and local grade modes. And what it does is that it just copies that color grade from the remote version of a clip and it applies it to the local version of that specific clip. Oh man, I am, I can't really talk today. I apologize for that. So let's just say that this is on a local, right? We're gonna go back in here and we're gonna load. And we wanna just copy this over. We can right click on this and say, copy local grade to remote. What this does is that it's gonna copy this black and white to my remote grades, right? We can undo it. And let's just say that we wanted to copy remote grade to local. Now, my black and white is now a colored version and on the remote grade. Okay. Now, these features give you flexibility when switching between global and individual color adjustments. And I find it very useful to do. And you can always switch back and forth from use local grade to use remote grades, okay? But the other benefit that you can do with remote grades is actually use your remote grades on groups. We'll talk about groups and using groups in the next video. For this one, we're just sticking between the difference between remote and local grade. The other benefit of using remote grades, and I know you can do this on local grades as well, when you, you're using groups itself, you can create different versions and find out which look you like the most. And what I mean by that is like right now it's saying it's version one, right? So we could go in here and say, create new version on remote. And we can name it, let's say, uh, local teal orange. I can't spell. Okay. So now, I have a new timeline right here and I can go reset and I can just do a simple grade right here. Let's just bring down the saturation a little. And we can do that for as many uh, different versions as you want. Let's say that you're creating a lookbook for your director. You can come in here and you can even create, let's say we want this one to be all black and white heavy contrast. In fact, I'll just, and there we go. When I click on that, it doesn't affect the, the skin tone. That's why I do that. Okay, so now I have different versions of it pulled up, right? I can go into this one where it's not as saturated. I can go into this one where it's blue and I can go back and forth. So now I have all of them put up right here. There is a lot of benefits of using the remote grade and there's a lot of benefits of using the local grade. Me personally, I really love using a remote grade if I'm doing some documentary style editing or if I need something consistent throughout the board, that's when I'll go to the remote grading, especially if there's a lot of the same clip throughout the entire timeline. And then I don't have to go in here and manually right click and, you know, apply the grade itself uh, to each individual clip. It just saves a lot of time. All right, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. If you guys haven't done so already, go over to our community tab and click on that poll and vote on what raffle prize you guys are needing. And we will be announcing what we're going to be giving away for our next raffle next week so be sure to vote and if you guys found this video useful you know click that like button press that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon to be informed on our next davinci resolve tutorial coming out next week i think next week we'll be jumping straight into the multi-cam tab because i'm going into this series of ways to speed up our editing workflow and you know it's a challenge for me because I've never really worked with multicam that much, so I've been doing a lot of research and it's absolutely incredible. But anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys have a blessed week. We'll see you guys next Friday. As always, practice and create.